explain the situation where Joe Burrow is trying to recruit you to Cincinnati, and did you did you know that that was Joe Burrow actually trying to recruit you? All right, all right. So that story kind of went big uh, recently. So here, here's what happened. I got duped like five years ago. Uh, actually, when not five years ago, however long it was, when Malcolm Brown got drafted first round to the New England Patriots, he texted me, and then I texted him back, and then it was a fake number. And uh, I, that's what I talked about. And then I told myself, hey, I'll never respond to fake numbers anymore or random numbers yeah. that I don't know because I was getting a lot of them. So then – after my second year playing with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I've got asked plenty of questions. Like when you're doing media stuff, you know, you go to media row, all that, wherever it was, Hey, what young quarterback would you love to play for? If you could play, if you could play with. And I was like, Joe Burrow, he reminds me of Tom Brady. I watched him in the national championship game at LSU. And just the way that he stays in the pocket, the way he goes through all his reads, just the way that he presents and carries himself. I really think that would be cool to play with him. That's my young buck quarterback that I, I feel like I would thrive with. It blew up everywhere. Like I wanted to go to the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> and this was right after I retired from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So then we fast forward, we're at the white party. And uh, we, we talked about this on my podcast, Dudes on Dudes, but we're going to recap it right now. My uh, new podcast that I host with Julian. So check us out um, for plenty of stories as well. But uh, we, we go back. We're at the white party and there's Joe Burrow. I never met him in my life. And we just chat real quick. He's like, yo, because he texted me right after I said all that about him uh, in, in Cincinnati. That I wanted to play with him. And that's when I didn't text him back because I didn't believe it. I didn't want to get duped again. <laughs> so I see him at the white party. We're hanging out talking. <laughs> He's like, yo, Gronk, I texted you, bro. Just along those lines. And I was and my my eye shot up. <laughs> I kind of got embarrassed because like I would have texted him back if I knew hundred percent because I'm a big fan. I really am. And I was like, no way, bro. That was you. He's like, Yeah, man, you ghosted me. Just it was just <laughs> along those lines. And like I kind of felt bad because like I wanted to respond to Joe Burrow. I mean, he's a cool dude. And uh I just told him, I was like, hey probably a good thing i didn't he's like yo man i could have used you and i was like no when i'm retired trust me you don't want me out there on the field <laughs> you would it would have only brought your play down buddy so that's how it went down man and uh okay. he's a cool he's a cool dude and and that's all 